welcome back everyone so this is an 11 year old laptop where i installed windows 11 bypassing the dpm and the secure boot check but this is really working very slow and behaving like a dead machine so in order to give the old laptop a new life again i decided to install the custom iso that is the revy os and if you also have any old laptop or pc with low configuration then you can also try this operating system so today in this video, I will be installing the Revy OS and I will show you that what kind of difference it make. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. So let me first show you the system information that what kind of configuration my device contain. So I will bring up the system information and you can see that how slow it's working. And if I show you the processor, so it's an Intel Core i3 with the third generation that is a really old laptop. And if you have a look on the BIOS version, you will find that it was being updated last on 2013. And you can also have a look on my RAM that is 4 GB. Okay, and now let me bring up the task manager. And you can see that how slow it's working. So this is my task manager now and trust me guys nothing has been installed on this new windows 11 so let me even show you if i bring up the program and feature and again you can see that how long it is taking to come up and here it goes so now you can see that no third party application has been installed so now if i show you the process you can see that nothing is running is still the high process high thread and the handle count and even the ram usage is high so this is exactly what we will be reducing so that we can get the better performance and before installing the review OS, you just need to keep in your mind that your windows should be activated and your windows should be up to date so right now you can see i'm on a activated windows 11 and if i bring up the activation settings so you can see that my windows is activated here and you will not be able to install the Revy or any other kind of custom ISO until your windows is not being activated. Okay, next you have to make sure that your windows is up to date. So I will go to windows update and here you can see my windows is up to date. All right, so once you are done with this basic requirement, now you will have to come to this website of Revy OS. The link will be in the description and here you need to scroll down a bit and you will find Revy OS playbook. And you need to download both the file of get amy wizard and revy os playbook so click on get amy wizard first and then you need to click on download and the downloading will be started now you have to also download the revy os playbook so click on it click on download playbook now here you scroll down a bit and you will find checking browser so wait for some time then click on generate free download link and within few seconds only it will create a download link for you so click on link generation again you scroll down and you will now find the download option so click on download now and .apbx file will be also downloaded all right now bring up the downloaded folder of ama wizard and as it will be downloaded in a zip file so right click on the downloaded folder click on extract all click on extract and once extracted right click on this amy wizard click run as admin and this kind of amy wizard beta dashboard will be up now here at the left hand top you have to click on drag .apbx file then you need to locate to the place where you have downloaded the .apbx file select it and then you need to click on open once it will be selected it says disable the security so that you should not have any kind of problem so click on run action click on open windows security and disable the real-time protection click on yes disable other protection cloud delivered automatic sample submission and the tamper protection now don't worry you can re-enable them back so once it will be done now you can go and click on next it will be analyzing the installation and it will check that you meet all kind of requirement or not so if your windows is activated if your windows is up to date you will not be having any kind of problem and you can see it says requirement met so click on next click next click on accept now it says configure options so we have to make some kind of changes according to ourselves so you can click on select options 
and it will ask you that which browser you want to install because it will be removing the microsoft edge so you can choose brave firefox whichever you want to i will go with brave then it will say that you want to remove microsoft edge and onedrive so i will keep them selected because yes i want to remove them remove photos remove dev homes i will not be removing the photos i will keep that unchecked apply revision wallpaper dark mode legacy context menu yes i will keep them all checked configure explorer folder view just keep both options checked click on ok and now you have to click on next and the extraction and the installation process will now be started so now here you will have to wait and it can take about like 15 to 20 minutes maybe less than that or more than that so just wait until it's all been done and bingo so now you can see the review os has been successfully installed and you can see that none of the data has been removed all right so now let me show you the performance and you can see that it's working pretty fast i can quickly refresh my screen and do any kind of work and if i bring up the task manager so you can even see that it's working much faster now and now if i come to the cpu section so now you can find the huge difference the process that was before around 130 140 now it's been reduced to 69 the threat has been reduced to 1000 and the handle count that was around 55 now it's been to 32000 same with the memory consumption the memory consumption has been also reduced and while working on this review OS now i find the huge difference the experience has been enhanced now and i can find that it's working much smoother and much faster all right so now let me show you some other options now that what kind of changes are being done so if i bring up the settings here so you can see that on the setting everything is remaining the same except there are few changes you will not be finding the windows security and the windows update option in the settings here but yes you can access that through the review os tool and now if i bring up the review os tool that you can see on the desktop so here you can see you can access the windows update and you can update your windows operating system similarly you can click on the security and access the security tool a part of that you get some more options like performance and if you want to increase the more performance then here are few some options like you can disable the super fetch and you can disable for your more option here and after that you have to restart the computer again so that it can give you the better performance okay now let's go with the conclusion so review os is good as it reduces the usage by debloating many kind of application and services but the question is that is it worth now for an older pc or laptop where you are running windows 7 8 or 10 and if you want to upgrade your operating system then you can surely switch to review os but if you are already running windows 11 on a good configuration pc then instead of going with the custom iso i would rather recommend you that go ahead and optimize your windows 11 by deep loading many kind of application and services for that i have already created a video so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt or any kind of issues and if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye